friends, today I want to share with you our super adorable little rabbit craft that is made out of dish towels. Now, some of you may remember the little, little angel dish towel I made at Christmas time. Well, this is very similar to that, except for instead of making an angel, you're actually making a little rabbit. They're done pretty much the same way, but instead of wings, you have ears. Now, what I bought was this little kitchen towel from Walmart. I'm going to make a couple rabbits, so I do have double supplies in front of me. But I bought the little Mainstays a microfiber kitchen towel, um, and it was 88 cents. And then I picked up two, just suit this cheapest little washcloths I could find. They were like 45 cents. So between the, the three pieces, it was less than $2 for the main parts to the rabbit. And of course, in my craft stash, I don't normally buy ribbon because I just have oodles of it. And so I just went and pulled some yellow and blue Easter color ribbon that I'm going to use to tie her, her up. And then you're going to need four rubber bands per rabbit. And then in her little hands that I put together, um, I'm going to put some some little flowers and I went ahead and just made like a little Easter tag a little Easter egg tag now this is cute enough where you could set her out you know beyond Easter just because she's a little springy rabbit now I did have a friend a few years ago that I made some instead of dish towels I made them out of baby blanket the receiving blankets I think I just kind of folded up the receiving blankets so you can modify this to um, be like a baby gift it was so cute it turned out to be um, the centerpiece for a baby shower so that's just an idea if you take this technique and just adapt it to your own. So what I need to do now is go ahead and take the tags off my towels and then I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way and I'll show you how to construct it really quick. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to unfold your two washcloths and you're going to fold one just along one flat side. The other one you're going to roll up on a diagonal. So you see there is a difference in how they look when they're rolled up. So the one that's just a just a straight roll is going to be her arms and the one that is rolled on the diagonal is a little longer and this is going to be her ears, okay? So just go ahead and move those out of the way for a minute. You're going to open up your dishcloth and yeah, they're usually kind of already tri-folded but we're going to open it up just a little bit and have the sides meet in the middle. That gives us a little bit more wider work area. And then you're going to fold it over about a third of the way. You know, maybe even a little more than a third of the way. Just something like that. And we're going to go ahead and put the ears in first. Kind of lift it and kind of notice where you put that crease. And then that, this is going to be her head. And so this is just the only trickiest part. The good thing is, is you can always redo it you know because all it is is just cloth and a, and a rubber band just gathered up like that and this is actually going to make her head now, remember the longer side is the front so you really want the front to look the best so just start playing around with it until you kind of get you know a horseshoe looking shape and that will be her head but sometimes it's until you get the whole thing constructed and just kind of pulling and tugging on it that you get it exactly right so I know so I'm kind of working off looking at my front because I want her head to look the best All right, so now I've kind of got her head it's kind of a horseshoe looking shape and then I'm going to put another rubber band under and this is going to be like her neck and I'm working off the front just so I can see what she looks like Okay, now I'm going to lift her up, and this straight rolled piece, this is going to be her arms. Now, I pay attention to where my end piece is so that it's kind of facing down because it will make a difference sometimes when you put her arms together if it depends on where the end piece is. And it just all kind of comes together pretty quickly. But you just have to kind of play with it till you get her little body just right. Not anything hard, it's just sometimes the dish towel don't want to cooperate. Okay, this is where I pull our little hands together and just take another little rubber band and secure it. Now also keep in mind, if you do use like receiving blankets, you will need some stronger rubber bands, but I'm telling you they are so cute for a baby gift 
or something like that okay so now she's all put together now it's just basically just kind of decorating her up with the ribbon so wherever there is a rubber band is where you're going to tie a bow of ribbon And for this one, I'm going to just, I made a little Easter egg tag. But like I said, you could put, you could give this as a gift and, and attach a little Easter recipe to it or just a little thinking of you or, you know, I mean, it's just unlimited. You don't even have to put anything, but it does look cute to finish it off in some way. Okay, so now I have them all constructed. I'm going to go ahead and set them up somewhere in my house and just so that you can get the full effect of what they look like. I set my two rabbits on the corners of this little glass serving tray I had on a wire stand. I've had this for a number of years. I picked it up at some restaurant gift shop. I don't know if it was Cracker Barrel or one of those places. And I just love it because it's so versatile for food or even just decorating up for seasons. And they're sitting on an old... Uh, navy blue little rabbit runner I've had for years as well. So they are just super cute. Now if you decide to make the mama rabbit, you know, you want the bigger version of this, you know, I encourage you to try the receiving blankets. I don't I don't uh, recommend using towels because they're just too bulky to blouse up, but the receiving blankets work great and you just fold them up accordingly and then it doesn't even damage the receiving blanket so you can give them as a gift as a baby gift or just keep them as your rabbit for spring decor so there you go hope you enjoyed it happy spring bye bye